This is the fourth generation Cadillac Seville SDS, a 90s American mid-size luxury performance sedan produced by General Motors. It was first debuted in 1992 and was produced until 1997, and underwent a range of cosmetic and powertrain changes during its six-year production run. The fourth generation Cadillac Seville SDS initially came with a 4.9 liter Pusher V8 engine in 1992, producing 200 horsepower and 275 pound-feet of torque. It was the following year replaced with the more powerful and modern double overhead cam 4.6 liter North Star V8 engine, raising the power to 295 horsepower and torque to 290 pound feet. The Seville was intended to take on the European and Japanese luxury brands in this segment, contending against the Mercedes Benz E Class, BMW 5 Series, and Lexus LS400. However, despite being European flavored in terms of its sleek exterior and flowing interior design, it used a front wheel drive configuration instead of the traditional rear wheel drive formula. In this video, I will show you the most interesting and unusual features of the exterior, interior, as well as the driving experience that this 19th Cadillac icon has to offer. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more of this content, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you. The first exterior feature that makes this car really stand out is its sheer size and exotic presence with its long angular hood, protruding bumpers as well as quad exhaust tailpipes. Even if the Seville was the smallest size model in the Cadillac lineup at the time, it still boasts a length of 5.2 meters. For perspective, this makes it longer than the long wheelbase E38 BMW 7 series, and almost as long as the long wheelbase Mercedes-Benz W140 S-Class, two highly desirable flagship luxury sedans at the time that cost significantly more compared to the Seville SDS. Interestingly, this car has no parking assistance features such as sensors and cameras, since these were not common options on cars in the early 90s, which makes this landing a bit of a hassle to park, especially with that pointy nose. Another unique exterior feature is the third brake light strip that runs across the entire trunk lid, adding to that exotic luxurious appearance when it lights up at night. One could argue that it's also a great design for safety. One tasteful cosmetic exterior design feature of the Cadillac Seville SDS is the pinstriping around the whole car, including the front and rear bumpers, that was offered in either chrome or white. This makes the car much more elegant and adds a nice contrast to the monochromatic paintwork. Another peculiar part about the exterior is the size of the headlight assembly. At first glance one would think that it is one uniform piece and that the turn signals are on the edges, but it turns out that it is split in two and that the separated sides do not serve any function whatsoever. Instead the turn signal is positioned on the main headlight assembly, which can be seen more clearly on some of the expert versions with the amber turn signals. This car also has a power antenna which automatically extends when you turn on the radio and retracts when you turn off the radio ignition. This has been an iconic luxury feature for Cadillacs dating back to the 1950s, but have in more recent years been replaced with better alternatives that are less prone to break. Moving on to the interior, the amount of unusual and unique features are plentiful. The first that catches your eye is the flowing and elegant design of the interior, with beautiful suburban wood accents and plush comfortable leather seats that remind you of something that you might find in an opulent living room, rather than in a car. If you look closely on the passenger side, you can see a small Cadillac logo on the wood veneer above the glove box, a small yet artful detail. The dash layout is another interesting feature of the Cadillac Seville SDS. At first the instrument cluster might seem quite normal for a 90s car with its large analog gauges, but not all warning lights are there and the only analog gauge other than the speedometer and tachometer is the fuel gauge. So to keep track of your coolant temperature for example, you have to depend on the digital display readout and manually scrolling through the menus using the information tab on the left. Similarly, if your car was to overheat, you would get a digital warning message instead of a symbol. Another interesting part about the digital display is that it shows all kinds of engine operating data, including battery voltage, fuel use, and engine oil life. Quite a advanced for a car for 1992. On the left of the instrument cluster we have an informative trip computer that tracks average and instantaneous fuel consumption, as well as range. And surprisingly, to the right you can find all of the climate control functions, which is a rather unusual placement as you normally find those in the center console. This makes it really driver focused and a tad difficult for the passenger to control, as the buttons are behind the steering wheel. Also, the hazard light switch is located in a peculiar position, hidden on the steering column by the ignition. It's not actually a regular button, but rather a firm switch that you have to press down and pull out. Another unusual feature is the windshield wiper mechanism of this car. When the wipers are not in use, they're invisible and tucked away under the hood, but as soon as you turn them on, they will raise up to a diagonal position and begin the wiping. When you turn them off again, they will automatically retract back to their hidden position, Quite a neat over-engineered feature. 
Also, the windshield washer nozzles are positioned on the wipers themselves, instead of the hood like on most other cars. Really clever in my opinion. As expected with a luxury car, there are many interesting technological features of the Cadillac Seville STS. One of them is the 4-way power lumbar support of the seats that adjust vertically, allowing it to move it up and down the backrest for added comfort and configurability. Another feature is the so-called Twilight Sentinel, a device that senses outside light and automatically turns on or off the exterior lights depending on lighting conditions. Although this function is standard in most modern cars today, it was quite rare and exclusive at the time. The glove box is a bit unusual compared to other cars. Right as you open it, there's a small compartment labeled spare fuses where you can find an assortment of different fuses and even a fuse puller tool. In the glove box, you can also find the owner's manual, or in Cadillac terms, the owner's literature, which is certainly unique. Not only does it have photos of old iconic Cadillac models in the back, but it also covers the history and heritage of the brand. It also teaches you the physics behind you need to use a seatbelt, driving tips, what to do if problems occur on the road, and even how to keep your car looking good, to name a few. It's much more personalized than the average owner's manual out there, adding to that exclusivity of owning not just any car, but a Cadillac. In the glove box you'll also find the buttons for the fuel and trunk lid release, both of which are powered for easier access. A bit of an unusual location, as it's difficult to reach them from the driver's side, but clever if the car is broken into as the glove box can be locked and make it much harder for a thief to access your trunk and fuel. Speaking of the trunk, in addition to having a powered trunk lid release, it also has an automatic pull-down mechanism that softly closes the trunk without having to slam it, an iconic feature that has been used in Cadillacs ever since the 1950s. There is another nifty feature on the sun visors. On the side there is an auxiliary extension that you can pull out for more coverage from the sun. This is quite ingenious in my opinion, and I'm surprised why it has not been implemented in more cars. The vanity mirrors are also a bit unusual as you can adjust the brightness and dim the lights if you want to. There is also a hidden compartment between the sun visors, where you can store your sunglasses. Below the center armrest there are two different compartments. First a small storage area when you lift it up, and a deeper hidden compartment underneath where you can store your favorite cassette tapes. Perhaps not the most useful feature today, but those were different times. Another odd feature is the parking brake, which is really unique in its operation. At first glance it looks like an ordinary foot brake that is found in many other luxury cars, but this one is very different. Instead of having a switch somewhere or pushing it downward to disengage it, it automatically pops out when you move the gear lever into drive. When you want to engage it again, you push down the pedal like you normally would. As for the driving experience, the Cadillac Seville SDS is interesting and unusual in many ways. First of all, it is one of few luxury cars at the time that was front-wheel drive, despite being so powerful with almost 300 horsepower. On paper, one would think that it would be struggling for traction and have overwhelming torque steer characteristics, but the Cadillac engineers did an excellent job of working around these limitations by using clever technology such as their computerized suspension. It is also surprisingly agile for its size. While it does suffer from body roll, understeer, and overly assisted power steering, it was nevertheless an impressive performer in the segment at the time, especially at its price point, and this makes it overall one of the more exciting luxury cars of the 90s to drive. The drivetrain is without question the highlight of this car, with the Northstar V8 engine and smooth and responsive 4080E automatic transmission. The Northstar engine has a great balance between performance and refinement, giving the Cadillac Seville SCS a 0-60 to time of 6.9 seconds. Although it may not sound impressive for today's standards, it's still a powerful engine that packs quite the punch. Not to mention the exhaust sound, there are few V8s that can match the glorious exhaust note and roar of this engine, which only adds to the excitement of the driving experience and ownership. In terms of comfort, the Cadillac Seville SDS certainly does not disappoint either. It has a supple ride and is great for longer journeys on the highway with its excellent sound insulation, soft leather seats and relaxing driving position. Simply a nice place to spend time. 
Overall, the Cadillac Seville STS is a really unique car with its sharp and imposing exterior design, along with its performance-oriented powertrain and abundance of luxury features and technology, a car that is unmistakably a Cadillac.